Welcome to yet another TechCast video review. Today we're going to take a look at the LG Chocolate BL40, LG's brand new smartphone handset with a super widescreen display. This is a 4 inch display on this phone and it has a resolution of 800 by 345 pixels and supports up to 16 million colours on this uh, touchscreen device. See it's very minimalist in its design, um, the front uh, there's no buttons, all you've got is this kind of mini speakerphone on the, on the, on the, the earpiece there and you've also got a light sensor and then it's capped off with red ends power and uh, a 3.5mm audio jack and the bottom you've got, you've got the microphone there is USB port for mass storage as well as the charger on the back you've got a 5 megapixel camera and on the side you've got some uh, volume shutter key and a shortcut key for going straight to your music so uh, this is what the locked screen looks like and you can customise the home screen so to unlock just simply slide up okay on the super tall screen and uh, you've got this S-Class user interface which you may have seen on other LG handsets uh, such as the Arena for example and it has this kind of cube uh, system where you can rotate between the different screens okay so let's take a quick look at the, uh, the kind of things you can do with a super wide screen so I'm just going to go into the menu it is accelerometer enabled so the menu for example because there's quite a lot of applications it just automatically flips uh, and you can just kind of pick what application you want to use from this menu screen uh, if you rotate again kind of just moves with it and you can scroll through the various buttons so let's take a look at the uh, gallery see what we can do with the pictures uh, and video in fact so here are some pictures that we've taken um, so let's go ahead and load up one up and then again accelerometer enabled it's fairly quick and it is multi-touch so you can zoom in on the picture now with it being an 800 by 345 pixel display which is, is phenomenal for a screen of this size and it's 4 inch um, considered WVGA, so wide VGA um, display resolution here. The touch is very responsive and go from the corners right from the corners of the 4 inch display and zoom straight in there. And this is a picture that's actually taken from the 5 megapixel camera that's built into the phone itself. And the quality is actually really good. So that's the maximum zoom level you can get to on that. So that's what you can do with the, the pictures there. And that's all accelerometer enabled. So let's go back there. And again, of course, you can swipe through. Let's take a look at some videos, some trailers on here. So I just tilt it and get this wide aspect ratio, which may not suit all types of videos. Turn the volume down. Um, I mean, on this particular one, it seems to fit because it's a, it's a trailer for a movie. But if, say, we take a look at a 4x3 video, uh, John Shoot, for example, which I've just trailer I've uploaded, I just rotate that. There's not a lot you can really do in terms of maximizing the window. I don't see any buttons which lets you do that. So you kind of just have to watch it in the uh, true aspect ratio of the video file. There's no stretching um, that can be done. So that's uh, video and multimedia on the BL40. Okay, so the next part of this video tour of the BL40 is looking at the messaging functionality because we all love to send text messages and emails from our mobile devices these days. So I've got this set up in the uh, SMS screen which is pretty much the same as the email screen and what we've got, okay it's locked, um, it's the ability to use T9 predictive text and we've got this kind of numbered keypad which most people will be used to with um, the typical keypad based mobile phone. Now if we put it into landscape mode what you get is the full QWERTY keyboard. 
Now if I try to type something in this mode you'll notice that it's actually quite difficult but that's down to the way I'm actually holding the phone and the camera at the moment. Um, unlike the iPhone iPod Touch there's no kind of predictive text on the landscape keyboard so that does make um, mistakes uh, and typos quite difficult to to correct. So if I do typo, it does have some suggestive words, but it doesn't actually see that you've um, typed in the wrong button. It doesn't do any kind of prediction on that basis. There is cut and paste and copy and paste, of course. So I just do send there. And then I've actually just sent that to myself for this demo. So view. And we can see the message there. If I go that into landscape mode, what it does is it becomes a bit like the preview pane you get on a lot of email applications these days. It's um, the vertical bar on the left, you see your messages, obviously I've only got one there. And then on the right, you actually get the preview of the message itself, and then that's obviously just zoomed in on that. So you can see how useful that would be uh, when checking your email or text messages. There is a threaded view as well, which is something that I quite like on a lot of new handsets these days. So threaded inbox, so if you've got a, a multiple message and conversation co between individuals within your address book, you get the threaded view, as you can see there. So that's the messaging capability on the uh, BL40. Okay, so we're going to take a quick look at the web browser operating over a Wi-Fi network. This is the internal Wi-Fi network I've got in the office here. So main menu, browser, we're going to visit the TechCast Reviews website, which we've already been on. Load that up. There may be some caching involved here. But it is, it does seem to be grabbing a fresh copy of the web page. So it's actually zoomed out automatically to, to give you the overall view of the page itself, and you can flip it into um, full screen view. Uh, you pretty much get the whole height of the page because it's a four inch um, display. And, you, and you know, multi touch still works. It's not quite as responsive as you might like it to be. But all in all, it's not too bad. The final uh, part of this quick video tour of the BL40 is the music uh, features. In terms of music, so we've got some track listings here. That plays straight away. Some visualization. It's got this little button called the Dolby button, and it actually does improve the audio. When I turn it off, the sound becomes a bit more tinny. If I hit the button again, the quality just seems that bit more richer. And then flip that into landscape mode. And you get a spinning disc which would normally show the uh, album art because I haven't got the album art set on this particular track, it's not showing up there. And the volume's pretty good. So let's flip to this track. Flip that back into landscape mode. You can see that. And you've got some controls at the bottom there. It's really simple and uh, the interface is fairly snappy. It's not immediately responsive, but it's quick enough to for it to be usable. And that's the music feature on the BL40.